Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Bunny and on Instagram, I am a manga grammar. I used to be on YouTube before and now I kind of made a comeback. So now my content is going to be mainly talking about manga reading, reading in general, maybe some otaku favorites, things of that nature. So welcome to my channel and I hope you enjoy my content. So today we will be discussing my monthly reads for May. I know that we're already a week into May, but I still want to show y'all what I will be buddy reading with others, um, what my readathon is for the month, which is, uh, if you're not familiar, every month I have a reading challenge on my Instagram. So I wanted to share with y'all what that challenge is this month, as well as uh, other just random readings here and there. So let's get started with my current buddy read. So this read is not otaku related or manga related. However, it is still what I'm reading for this month and it is my current buddy read with one of my friends on Instagram. The title is called Seven Deadly Shadows. I'm not that far into it. <laughs> I think she's ahead of me now. I'm only on like chapter eight. So far this read is very enjoyable. It's very fast paced and it has like some creepy tones to it. I'm not gonna elaborate too much because again, I'm only like in the beginning still. <laughs> so I won't elaborate any further. And also I don't wanna spoil it for my friend who is reading this with me, but this is the first thing I am buddy reading for the month of May also. Here's my little puppy, Charlie. <laughs> He's my shadow. He's always with me. My next read is going to be Frankenstein by Junji Ito. So many people recommend this one to me. I am on a big Junji Ito kick. I think I've each week read something by him. This is his version of Frankenstein, but there's also a collection of short stories in it. So I am very excited to read this one and I may read it this weekend. Another one I am reading right now is volume seven of Sailor Moon. I am also going to be reading volume eight. Those both cover the dream arc, which is something I've been wanting to read before I watch the new Sailor Moon Crystal films that are coming next month on Netflix. I'm sorry about that. My husband started going in the kitchen and he was like starting to cook and clean and make racket. And I'm like, yo, I'm recording in here. <sighs> Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my love Sailor Moon. So I am rereading uh, the rest of the Sailor Moon manga. I am rereading the Dream Arc series, which is covered in these Eternal Editions, volume seven and volume eight. And I am so excited for the films because I finally get to see it adapted like correctly. Like no offense to the 90s anime like that. I still love the 90s anime. It's just, it's not a proper adaption of the manga material. So I cannot wait to see what it's like animated. And I'm really excited for stars. Stars is my favorite. And they screwed it up in the 90s. Anyways, so this is also what I am reading. On to the next. So for this next read, I have no idea when I'm gonna read it, but it's gonna happen. I gotta hold this bad boy. Yes, you're reading the title, Clark Reed. I can't read the title because YouTube has issues with cuss words now, apparently, but it's a D Fight Island. Yep, it's as ridiculous as it sounds, and uh, I'm gonna read it. I'm totally gonna read it, enjoy it, and for those wondering what it's about, <laughs> it's about uh, men on an island who uh, fight each other using shields on their uh, winkies. Yep. Swords. Winkies. <laughs> I am just going to read it for fun and uh, I might write a review on my Ko-fi or Instagram. I do not think I will do a video on this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, and these are what the men look like. Aren't they pretty? I don't think I can show. I mean, look at this art. It's so pretty. It's hard to believe it's about men who fight with their winkies. Anyway, on to the next one. Another manga that I'm not entirely sure when I will read it. It's probably gonna be in between buddy reads and my readathon, but it is the rest of An Incurable Case of Love. I read the first volume. 
I enjoyed it for the most part. I don't really like the main character that much, but I have a hard time relating to heroines of shoujo unless they are written by Yu Altase, who's my favorite mangaka. But uh, yeah, I, I might get used to her. I don't know, but I love him. Yeah, I, I, I love a good grump. He fits, it works for me. I dig it. So there's only seven volumes of this series and it's basically like Grey's Anatomy, but in manga form. So I like that. Gives me a good cheesy drama that I need. All right, now it's time to talk about my upcoming readathon. What is a readathon, you may ask? Well, for my readathons, I make it a challenge. So I set a certain amount of time for people to read a series. And depending on the length of the series, sometimes it's one week long, sometimes it's two weeks long. This upcoming readathon is over Library Wars. Oh, it doesn't get enough hype. It is so good. It is a classic shoujo, in my opinion, that not a lot of people know about. So it is my mission to spread the word of good reading. And that is why I chose it for this month. I was in the mood for a slow burn action romance. So the set length of time for people to read the series will be two weeks and it starts on May 16th. If you want to participate on reading uh, and joining in on the group, all you have to do is use my hashtag bunnies readathon on Instagram and you could take pictures of your read or do stories and you can use that hashtag as well as tag me in it so I can see it. And what I do is for people who participate in taking photos, I share them on my stories to help create engagement for people who are participating in the challenge. Also, if you use the hashtag, it lets other people know that you're reading it in case they wanna do a discussion. If you're wondering what Library Wars is about, it is set in an alternate future where books are being banned. So the military creates their own special forces to protect these books. And so the main heroine, her name is Iku, she decides to join the military because she was inspired by somebody who helped her in the past. So then we go on her adventures about like what they have to do while they're in this library task force, as well as we see her develop a romance or a slow burn romance with one of her instructors. There's so many amazing characters. I love that the heroine is strong. She's tall. She's not very feminine. And she just, she's very passionate about what she does and she doesn't need saving. And she's just so strong. It's very, oh, it's just so good. So I recommend this to so many people. And they're like, what, 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 what is that? I never heard of it. Look it up. Library Wars, love and war. All right, so we have reached the last read that I'm going to discuss, what I will be reading at the end of May. And it is a buddy read with one of my friends on Instagram. And we decided it's my reread, but her first time reading Absolute Boyfriend by Yu Watase. Like speaking of Yu Watase, I will always recommend her work. She is my favorite shoujo author or just my favorite mangaka in general. I love all of her works and her art is gorgeous. So yes, another classic shoujo. This is only six volumes long and I will be reading it at the, I think, May 20th. I think that's what we decided. Either way, I will be rereading this with my friend who's never read it before and it is a hilarious romantic comedy about a teenager who ends up kind of getting in some mischief with an android who is a love machine. <laughs> so it is hilarious and I cannot wait to read this with her so I can get her reaction. All right guys, that is the end of my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I am planning to do videos like this uh, every month. So that is something for you to look forward to. If you have any suggestions of what I should read for next month, please leave me a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a like. Also, if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed my content, then please consider subscribing to my channel. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. Have a good day.